Hi everyone, I'm Rachel from the Therapy Note Success Team. Today, we're going to answer an important question. Should you market your practice on social media? The short answer is yes, but always keep HIPAA compliance as your top priority. Although it's crucial to note that social media platforms are not HIPAA compliant channels, you don't need to avoid using social tools to market your practice. If you're new to social media marketing, stay tuned for four tips on how to market your practice ethically and effectively. Number one, keep your personal and professional profiles separate. Distancing your personal life from your professional life not only allows you to provide focused quality content that your followers are more likely to enjoy, but also helps to protect the confidentiality of your relationship with your clients. With Facebook, for example, you should create a page rather than a personal profile to market your practice. Separating your personal and professional profiles also allows you to maintain greater control over how people can interact with you online. Similarly, even if you have personal accounts on Twitter, Instagram, or elsewhere, be sure to create an entirely separate account for your business. To maintain your privacy, we also recommend declining friend requests from your clients on your personal Facebook profile and avoiding similar personal connections on other social media platforms. The client therapist boundaries you employ in the office should be the same as those that you practice online. Number two, position yourself as an authority. Online social channels are a great outlet to provide commentary on a wide range of industry-related topics without being specific about any client therapist interactions. The content you share on social media should allow your followers to get to know you professionally and see you as an expert. Publish content that is related to your specialty and that your clients may be interested in, but make sure to keep your posts general. Your content should never be specific to a client. For instance, you could share an informational article about the impact of seasons on mental health, post an interesting study on the relationships between anxiety and pets, or even share your own pertinent writing. Posting general, relevant, and useful content helps position you as a trustworthy source of information and as a result, a trustworthy clinician. Number three, never discuss sensitive information. The most crucial thing to understand when integrating social media into your therapy practice is that social media, including direct or personal messages, is not a HIPAA compliant form of communication. If a client publishes personal information on any of your practice's profiles, recognize that this does not permit you to talk freely about their HIPAA protected information or even acknowledge your clinical relationship with the client. You are still responsible for whatever you post online. Never discuss any potentially private information on social media, even if you remove the client's name from your writing. Stay focused on positioning yourself as an authority and keep the content centered on your profession and whatever your followers will find useful. Number four, monitor activity on your accounts. Depending on which social media channels you choose and how you configure your settings, your followers may have an open forum to post whatever they want. Keep an eye on your social channels to make sure that all content is accurate, respectful, and of course, suitable for public access. If you encounter anything questionable, delete the post and follow up with the author of the post privately. You may also decide to develop terms of use for your social media accounts to include in your intake paperwork. State your appropriate use policies, including privacy expectations and limitations. Establish boundaries by defining the purpose of the channel and explain that the site is not to be used for therapeutic or clinical advice. Your terms of use can also document that you do not accept friend requests from clients on your personal profiles. If you're new to marketing, social media can be intimidating, but it can also be a great avenue for finding new clients. As long as you keep your content general and carefully plan how you want to connect with your audience, a strong social media presence can help you engage with your followers and give you a healthy boost to your marketing efforts. We hope you found these tips helpful. To keep up with our latest content and videos, subscribe to our blog and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.